This smart ring is tracking my heart rate, body temperature, and sleep. Researchers are hoping that my data, and that from thousands of others, could be used to help detect early signs of COVID-19. The University of California, San Francisco is using this smart ring called Aura to capture data from 2000 healthcare workers on the front line who may come into contact with the virus. The goal of this study is to use data collected by a wearable ring that has biosensors in it to develop an algorithm that's able to predict if people are going to experience illness symptoms, specifically those that characterize COVID. Everyday users like me can also be a part of the three-month study. There's potentially 150,000 Aura users around the world that could take part. Now, Aura is sponsoring the research and providing those 2,000 rings to the healthcare workers on the front line. Unlike many other wearables worn on the wrist, the Aura ring measures body temperature and other vitals like heart rate through your finger. As those arteries go into you know, the palm of your hand, your skin is, is extremely thin and translucent. And um, as a result, those arteries are even very closer to the surface of the skin. Um, so the actual pulse signal strength is about two orders of magnitude stronger than veins on the wrist. It's almost 100, 100 times stronger. It depends on the person. Everyone's anatomy is slightly different. Then it also turns out the finger is a great place to measure temperature. Um, you don't see those same temperature changes on the wrist. Um, and so, and that, and that has to probably do both from the arterial density that happens to be in your, in your hand and, and also your nerve endings because your, your fingers have so many, so many nerves that um, as a result, like um, you know, your, your body I, tends to use them as, as thermoregulators. So I've been wearing the Aura while I sleep, which is when it does the majority of its data collection, although you can use it during the day. In the morning when I check the app, I'm able to see a sleep score, as well as some other indications on my body temperature overnight, any heart rate variability, and the quality of my sleep. I've also been able to track my symptoms day by day. Every morning I'm prompted to do the UCSF study within the app, and then document any symptoms that I might be having, such as a cough or a fever. But one hypothesis is that we may be able to detect changes in physiology days before someone actually experiences a symptom. So we want to see if that's possible, because if it is, that could be a really exciting advance in how we maybe contain spread of this virus uh, or get people to get organized to get treatment sooner. So independent of the UCSF study, the Aura Ring prompted an otherwise asymptomatic user in Finland to get tested for the virus. Turns out he tested positive. He had recently returned from a vacation in Austria, a hotspot of the outbreak. It just told me that I said I had some fever during the night. And that was a kind of like a surprise because I didn't, uh, I didn't feel sick at all. And I actually measured my temperature with the normal device and, and got normal, normal results. I think I were very lucky because I actually noticed and that they actually took me for the test because otherwise I would be just living my normal life, would invite my mother for the dinner and so on. So um, it was very close call. Now this smart ring is not the only consumer device that may provide some clues in the fight against COVID-19. A smart thermometer called Kinsa has 2 million users in the US and is analyzing body temperature readings. While not directly tracking the spread of COVID-19, if you take it with some other data points, it might provide some clues about where COVID-19 is spreading. A Scripps research study is also looking at how other wearables from brands like Fitbit, Garmin, and Apple may be able to detect flu-like illnesses. Instead of temperature, this study is analyzing resting heart rate as a potential marker. But it is still very early days, and researchers cannot draw any conclusions from just a few examples. This is research in progress. We don't have data yet. We don't have answers yet. We really just don't know. And so it's important to not be premature in our conclusions here. We really hope to get something interesting from this study that will help us um, make changes in the future that will keep people safe and keep people healthier, but we just don't know yet. So we really need to do the science first. Early detection means that ring wearers can seek treatment and more importantly, be able to isolate themselves, which is especially important for doctors and nurses on the front line. The symptoms can be really mild and take them seriously if you feel a bit ill, stay at home 
and really self-quarantine yourself. Researchers are hoping that some of the early detection studies done now will be able to save lives when infectious disease specialists expect the second wave of COVID-19 to hit in the fall.